Give me a microphone. A stage and faded lights. A crowd intent to hear your words as if the world could possibly end tomorrow. Lights that make the room disappear so it's only a conversation that you've had with yourself 1,000 times in the mirror. Speak. Protrude your voice. Don't mumble. They need to hear how I feel. Even if the subject matter is something I haven't experienced before, they have to understand how I feel. It makes me who I am. Be confident. Don't mumble. Practice the ticks, tricks, and poetry exercises in your head so that you don't lose your train of thought before performing. Biba, bibati titi biba, bibati titi beast ah, o to a blonde, little blonde, blonde, kila blonde, blonde, kila to a labellum. I know it by heart now. Give me a stage. Writing on a page isn't enough for me. I need for you to hear me. I want for you to feel the amplification of my voice. You have to feel how I feel. Vulnerability. Is an acquired trait, almost like eating white castles or finding an actual purpose for something that doesn't taste great like beer. But behind that is one tiny minuscule millimeter of fear. You haven't practiced enough. Stop it. They won't understand you. Stop it. You are performing too fast. Stop it. You are too much of a perfectionist, Justin. You've got this. Spoken word poetry was a discovery. I learned the craft before I ever read about it. Sitting in Miss Reinch's 8th grade biology class, I wrote about how love never lasts forever. It was published. My purple folder sits in the dusty crevices of my closet with hundreds of pieces of paper I would want to throw away because I didn't love them. But what is the world without memories? Give me a microphone, a topic, a prompt, story, a hope, a dream, a wish, and I will generate your reality. For three minutes and ten seconds, the lights will dim and you will understand me. I love this art. And I will create. Until the microphone breaks or my bones are too brittle, I will stand up and on stage for this poetry.